Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. So in the previous videos, we displayed the ALV using object-oriented concepts. Now we will learn event and non-event based functionality by using object-oriented concept. Suppose firstly we will start with non-event based functionality. Now, what do you mean by non-event based functionality? Means customer will not perform any action. We will not perform any action, but without that action, we will perform some functionality. Suppose we received a requirement and customer is saying, I want sorting, I want filtering, but I will not perform any action. So without my action, I want my output to be sorted based upon this. Or if customer is saying my output should be filtered based upon this, so without performing any event or without performing any action from the customer, we can give sorting, filtering, we have coloring also. If we customer wants some color, so we can give some coloring also. So these all are non-event based functionalities means Customer will not perform any action. We will, customer will not perform any event, nothing. Without action, we can achieve sorting, filtering, coloring. These all are non-event based functionalities. We'll do the practical. Now, similarly, we have event based functionalities also. Suppose on double click, customer wants some functionality. So customer will perform double click. So that is a event based functionality. Customer we will create some hotspot. When customer will click on the hotspot, some result will come or some function or some requirement will be there from the customer. Whenever he will click on the hotspot, he wants some requirement. So all those are event-based functionalities. Customer is performing some action and on that action, he wants some desired result. That is your event-based functionality. In non-event-based, there's no action from the customer, but we will, we will provide the desired output to the customer based upon the requirement. So we'll start with non-event based functionality. Firstly, we will cover sort, then we will cover filter. Means without performing any action from the customer, we can provide sorting and filtering functionalities to the customer by using code with the help of code itself. I will go to my program. Suppose, we displayed the output. I will display the output first. Now customer is saying, I want the output to be sorted based upon creation date. Customer is saying, I will not perform any action, nothing. But whenever my output is coming, my output should be filled or should be sorted based upon creation date. Ascending or descending, that's a different thing. Suppose customer is saying, I want a output to be sorted based upon creation date. As of now, you can see we have 3rd November. 20th November, 21st November, 24th, 28th, then we have 27th also. This output is not in sorted order based upon creation date. 
so we can achieve this functionality and it is a non event based functionality because customer will not perform any action any event will give the output to the customer based upon sorting sorting based upon creation date we'll see how we can achieve this requirement i'll go to my program i will scroll down and i will go to the method set table for first display which will be used to bind our data with the field cat you can see here is a parameter it underscore sort we will use this this parameter to achieve our requirement i will declare one internal table in front of this now what will be the type of lt underscore sort it will be same as that of it underscore sort how i can check the type i'll simply double click it underscore sort is of this type so i'll simply copy the type and i will declare in my program i'll scroll up i will remove the previous thing so that you can see the declarations data lt underscore sort type if i double click on this it is a table type table type it means lt underscore sort is a internal table internal table i will declare work area ls underscore sort type work area i will pass the name of the structure in this table type this is the structure and i will use this structure to declare my work area now we will fill this internal table to achieve our requirement we'll see now ls underscore sort hyphen we'll see we want the sorting based upon creation date so i will use this component field name i want the sorting based upon which column er dat er dat is the name of the field for creation date if i will see er dat is the column for the creation date now suppose firstly we will do the sorting in ascending order suppose ascending i will double click and you can see we have two properties up and down if we will go for up our sorting will be in the ascending order if we will go for down our sorting will be in the descending order suppose i will use up i will write ls underscore sort hyphen up and i want the sorting based upon and i want a sorting in ascending order so i passed up is equal to capital x capital x means true true now append ls sort to lt underscore sort i'll check the syntax and i'm activating the program so what you did 
you pass the column on which column you want to do the sorting and you want the sorting in ascending or descending as of now we are sorting in ascending order i'll put the breakpoint and show you in debugging mode i am passing the input and you can see our internal table for sorting er dash and our sorting will be in the ascending order now if i will show you the output and you can see our output is sorted based upon creation date 3rd november 12th november 20th november 21st november 24th 27th 28th these all are records of 3rd november then 12th then 20th november so this is the always some of the requirements from the customer customer has not performed any action but still he achieved the output based upon the sorting of creation date suppose i can sort the data in descending order also simply we have to put down is equal to capital x rather than up then what will happen our output will be in the descending order based upon creation date i'll simply run the program if i will show you lt sort now and you can see er dat now this time the data is in descending order x and you can see now our output is in descending order of creation date 28th november and this is 3rd november so in this video we learned how to do the sorting by using the code itself without performing any action from the customer and this is one of the non event based functionality thank you